Today we'll be getting a special first look at the ZTE Axon 30 with a second generation under display camera where the front facing camera is actually looking up through the AMOLED pixels to get an image. Pretty futuristic stuff. Of course we'll see how it works and how durable it is, but first let's check out the quality. You may or may not have noticed, but I've been filming with the ZTE Axon 30's under display camera this whole time. You might not have noticed, or maybe you were already trying to change YouTube's quality settings. But at the same time, keep in mind that this is pretty darn good. Especially when you remember that it's looking up through seven layers of screen in order to get this image. While you keep analyzing the quality of this under display camera, huge thanks to Stamps.com for sponsoring this video. Stamps.com is giving away five pound electronic scales similar to this one and a bunch of free postage along with their four week trial of Stamps.com. Stamps.com is able to bring the services of the United States Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. So if you regularly send letters or packages for your business or side hustle, it's pretty easy to join the over 1 million businesses that are using Stamps.com. It's really nice to not have to stand in line at the post office because everything can be printed right here at home from my own computer. Stamps.com has discounts of up to 40% for the United States Postal Service and 66% for UPS. They also allow you to quickly compare different carriers for the best rates with their switch and save feature. To get those discounted shipping rates, your five pound digital scale and free postage, just head over to stamps.com and up in the corner of the website, enter the word Jerry Rig. There are no long-term contracts or commitments. If you can't remember the website name, I'll put a link down in the video description. It's a win-win for everyone. Now it's time to get an up close and very personal look at the new under display camera inside of the ZTE Axon 30. Let's get started. I'll show more images from the underscreen camera in just a second. Keep in mind though that the front camera maxes out at 1080p for video with a 16 megapixel front facing sensor. Inside the box we find the Axon 35G and at first glance it looks like a solid black phone, but in the right light it does come alive with some holographic looking shades of gray, with some subtle green blended in. And yeah, the back might look cool and stuff, but we're all here for the front facing underscreen camera. No notch, no hole punch, just pure pixel peeping. The biggest difference between the camera this year and the first generation camera last year in the Axon 20 is the screen quality above the camera unit. Last year's Axon 20 had about 200 pixels per inch screen resolution above that camera, and this year it's doubled to 400 pixels per inch, which means that the pixels hide the camera under the screen much better it'll be less noticeable. The camera does still add some halos around my studio lights, which isn't as noticeable on my Note 10 Plus as normal front facing camera. And if I switch to a white background, we can take a closer look at where that camera should be. And compared to last year, it is indeed far more invisible. Nice work ZTE. With regular images, the camera quality is still a bit soft, which might be a deal breaker if you're a professional selfie taker. But for other people, that softness might be a price worth paying to completely hide the front facing camera. And obviously this technology is pretty cool and fun to see it progress, but it's also a bit scary. In the wrong hands or inside the wrong devices, underscreen cameras can now pretty much be anywhere. Let me know down in the comments, do you think underscreen camera tech is kinda cool, slightly spooky, or nefariously naughty? Speaking of which, the scratch test. With normal lighting, notice how the underscreen camera is invisible. It's only when we lift the phone into the light to analyze the scratches do we see a bit of square where the tiny second screen is covering that camera unit, along with the uh, scratches at level 6 with deeper grooves at level 7. But with twice the resolution of last year's phone, it's still pretty much invisible in normal lighting, even with a completely white display. And since it's also hidden underneath the glass, it's protected from scratching. There is a small earpiece slit up at the top, about the same thickness as my razor blade. And then the sides are made from plastic. The power button and volume rocker are both metal though. Up here on the top of the Axon 30, we do have more plastic. 
as well as plastic running down the left side. The bottom of the phone has no headphone jack, but we do find a USB-C port capable of charging at 55 watts, and a dual SIM and memory card slot, which does have a rubber ring around the opening. Making our way around to the back, it is a conservative black color, with some slightly holographic branding, and it also is made from plastic. Fine with me though, just means we get more art class with Cherry. Seeing the color changing Noxiv logo, or Axon depending on how you look at it, seeing it shift from red to green reminded me of the old American folklore stories about Johnny Appleseed. Turns out he was actually a real guy, who went around the Midwest in the early 1800s, actually planting apple trees by seed. Since grafting was apparently against his religion at the time. Something about not wanting to hurt the trees. John Chapman was his real name, and he seems like a pretty cool guy. We should all probably be planting a whole lot more trees. The Axon 30 has a super massive 64 megapixel camera up here in the top circle, and right below that we have a triple camera setup inside the other circle, with an 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro camera, and 2 megapixel depth camera, all protected under the same slab of glass. The only metal we find back here is the part separating the back plastic from the glass camera lens. I mean, the earth is a pretty cool place. I like living here. As things warm up though, we do gotta factor in how long our screens can last in the heat. Especially since this crazy weather and fires are gonna keep getting worse until about 2050, according to the UN Climate Report. The 6.9 inch 1080p 10-bit display does last for about 20 seconds under the heat from my lighter, and we can tell by the white spot that forms that it is indeed OLED, which just shows that we should probably be as equally nice to our tech as we are to where we live. Along with that under-display camera, the Axon 30 also has an under-display fingerprint reader, which when slathered with level 7 deeper grooves does appear to keep on functioning. Thumbs up for that. We'll have to see what all these underscreen cameras look like from the inside during the teardown. Finally, the bin test. 2021 has been a rough year for smartphones. We've had more phones break this year than any other year. And during the first bend, it looks like this guy is toast. It's got more flex than a dandelion in the breeze. And when bent from the front, we hear a snap from something internally. But surprisingly, everything externally is still working fine. I don't know if we've ever had a phone with this much flex and still not break before. Creaks like an old wooden staircase, but still survives. Barely surviving is still indeed surviving. Nice work ZTE, not bad for a $500 phone. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with next. Don't forget to grab your free scale from stamps.com with the link in the description and come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so for watching. I'll see you around.